Welcome everybody. I'm going to do a reverse dip. This paint is with some emulsion primer that we found, my sisters and I, or actually my sister Susan King and I. So we're trying it out on our dips. Um, I did the first one I did my paints were a little bit thicker than this and it seemed to work fine. I got some nice reactions. I should show you. Maybe you missed that video. I just did it a little while ago. So there you can see it. I'll just leave it right here. So I'm going to um, I just tried it a little bit runnier this time, a little bit thinner. Just because it was hard to put down. I don't have it in squeeze bottles yet because I want to make sure this works good first. Trying to make sure there's enough on the edges. All right. I'm going to use almost similar colors to that, but I added a, a nice little orangey color. Pretty color. So I'm going to start with the, I think I'll start with the darkest on the outside. See it thickens up. I just wish I had it in a squeeze bottle. Oh well. We'll work with it. I'll try my smaller sticks. Sometimes they work better. Just for this though, I don't like stirring with them, they're too small. It works for this, okay. This is a phalo, or no, this is a Prussian blue with with a brilliant blue mixed in it. This is the brilliant blue. So I'm Put some Rustoleum. This is Rustoleum uh, Pearl White. I'm just going to stick it around the edges here. Might make a nice effect at the outside of this flower.
I have gold. Now I don't know what that. Maybe I'll just put this in there. You know what, I might just leave the gold out this time. So I'm really in this one. Did I put the gold in there? And I don't even see it. I think it got buried. So let's put some more of the dark blue. some of this. What is this color called? It's called Naples Yellow Red. It's really pretty. Rustoleum. Some of this light blue in the middle. I think that's enough of the white.
Okay. Oops, I need my napkin. It's just a paper napkin you'd get from like a party store. These are leftover ones from my anniversary party last year. Actually, I was in my little local dollar store yesterday and I saw the exact same ones in there. I'm like, oh, well, they picked them up. They're probably cheaper than the party store. This one wasn't too wet or too watery. The last time I <clears throat> I sprayed it and let it sit until I was done this, but this time I didn't. I think I moved it too much. Oh, I slid this all off. Most of it's on the paper towel, I think. Surprised there wasn't more here. I put lots there. But I think if I look at my paper towel, most of it went on the paper towel. <clears throat> Maybe my paper towel was a little too wet. It should be less damp, I think. Less wet, I mean. Oh, I got it all in the middle. I definitely had this, the uh, Rust-Oleum around the edges. Definitely, definitely. And look at that orange. Where's the orange? It's all gone. There's some. it sank so much. Oh, there's still lots of bubbles. 
tomorrow these will settle and this we this uh, will work better. when there's less um, air bubbles. Okay, I'm going to hold it up. It's pretty. I wish I had. It almost looks the same as this one. Except for this one has more darker in the middle. But my orange disappeared. I should have put more, I guess. I wonder if there's any, oops, oh no, I just touched it. Mm. Oh, there's no orange under there. A little bit. actually makes the middle look nicer. There, look at that, isn't that cute? See if I can There we go. All done. I love it. Thanks for watching. I will be doing more of these techniques with this new emulsion that I have purchased. And we'll see how it goes. Please subscribe to my channel. Come back soon to my art room. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.